Fight of the Week, your Saturday night cavalcade of sports features. Welcome to the Fight of the Week. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator. Unbeaten heavyweights take over this evening as Cassius Clay of Louisville meets Billy Daniels of New York City in the 10-round feature bout at the St. Nicholas Arena. The 20-year-old Clay is a former Olympic light heavy, national AAU light heavy, and Golden Gloves heavyweight champion. As a professional, Clay has won his 13 bouts, 10 by knockout, the last five in a row. The ebullient Kentuckian is given to predictions on his bouts and up to now has made them good. To quote a contemporary on the boxing beat, the 25-year-old Billy Daniels is even more undefeated than Clay, having won 16 in a row while scoring seven knockouts. However, unlike Clay, this is Billy's first main event on national television. He's a good two-fisted battler. He's a big heavyweight, Daniels being six feet four, while Clay is an inch shorter. At the New York Commission weigh-in today, Clay was 196, while Daniels came in at 189. In just a moment, we'll bring you the 10-round heavyweight fight between Cassius Clay and Billy Daniels. From St. Albans, Long Island, wearing black trunks, weighing 189, Billy Daniels. Daniels. His opponent, from Louisville, Kentucky, wearing white trunks, Cassius gets a mixed reception. Here's McCann. All right, listen carefully, Billy and Cassius. Keep both hands free at all times when you're punching. Do not hold with one hand and hit with the other. Is that clear? When I see a lock in the clinch, I'm going to tell you to break. I want both of you to stop punching immediately and each take a step back. Be careful of your fouls. If you get knocked down, you have to take an eight count. Shake hands now. Come out boxing clean. Good luck. Hi, right, folks. There's also a three knockdown rule. A man floored three times in one round is considered out. Scoring here in New York on a round basis with a supplementary point system if the points, if the rounds come out even on an official's card. Both are undefeated. Forcing the action, Billy Daniels, the black trunk. Cassius Clay in white. Daniels, a good two-fisted battler. Figures to force the action. Clay has tremendously fast hands. The speed of his hands have been compared to that of champion Floyd Patterson. Clay figures to double and triple jab and stick that left out whenever he can and backpedal whenever he can. It's risky business going around with your hands dangling at your sides, as Cassius says, but he knows what he's doing. It's a hot night in New York. The thermometer hit 99 this afternoon. Cooled off a little, but not a great deal. So it's pretty warm here in the St. Nick's under these ring lights. Bout is scheduled for 10 rounds. They're wearing eight ounce gloves. Mark Kahn, the referee, a good one. to go in round one. Billy Daniels, the black trunks, Cassius Clay and White. Big, big heavyweights.
10 seconds to go in round one. There's the bell. There's round four. Daniels to Black Trunks. K the, uh, Clay the White Trunks. Mark Kahn, the referee. Good fight so far. Scheduled for 10 rounds. Clay's got the hands up a little higher now. He's looking for an opening for his right hand. Daniels cut over the left eye again. has developed another cut near the left eye as if things weren't tough enough for him. But he's battling gamely in there. Got Clay holding on. the bell ending round four and the commission doctor Dr. Samuel Swetnick is coming up into the corner of uh, Billy Daniels once again the crowd wants him to get out of there however he's talking to Mark Kahn the referee and apparently saying it's all right for the moment now here's something of interest to all sports fans Every week, the America's number one network for sports. Coming up to round five in the old St. Nick's Arena. Billy Daniels, the black trunk, in jeopardy because of that cut left eye. Cassius Clay and the white trunk, both undefeated. Daniels having won 16, Clay 13. has kept things even with that solid right hand punch to the head.
there, but no knockdown. has hurt Clay a couple of times in this round, as you saw. But Daniels is bleeding from around the left eye again. And now the blood is starting to bother Daniel. Ten seconds to go in round five. Now hold everything, hold everything. Hold everything. There's the bell ending round five. And they've got a lot of work to do over in Daniel's corner. Freddie Brown working on the eye. The commission doctor has not come up into the uh, ring right now, however. And the corner is working on it. Incidentally, this is the last televised fight ever from the St. Nicholas Arena. The uh, old building is going to be torn down in the near future. It was uh, open for fighting back in 1906. And in the future, it will be an ABC television center. There will be two Monday night fights here, uh, two nights from now and again the following Monday, and that will ring down the curtain on sports activities here in the old St. Nicholas Arena, at least for boxing. Round five has gone by here with Billy Daniels and the black trunks and catches Clay in the way. show that Cassius has feet of clay. It's questionable whether the bout can continue, though, because of the condition of Daniel's left eye. He has cut around it, over it and around it. to the 10 rounder. One minute to go in round six.
comes to go in round six. There's the bell. Seven here in the old St. Nicholas Arena. <laughs> Cassius Clay of Louisville in the white trunks weighing 196. Billy Daniels of New York, the black trunks 189. Daniels has given an impressive performance so far. Clay got off winging in the first two rounds, but big punches by Daniels have taken charge since then. Daniels fighting with the handicap of a cut around his left eye, several of them. Both heavyweights undefeated. It's hot here. I told you earlier it was 99 here at one time in New York today. There have been no knockdowns. And it's a tough break for Billy Daniels, who, who fought a tremendous fight. There's no question about that. There's Cassius, and there's Daniels, right to his right, or to his left, rather. And Big Julie is still protesting. Well, this fighter had a chance of winning a big bout here. That is the first loss on the escutcheon of uh, Billy Daniels. And Clay continues undefeated, having won 14 in a row now. Daniels has won 16 and lost one by a TKO. 